Morning, hello everybody and as promised today I'm going to do a video on how I create a GPX file and a route um, using my route app for the motorcycle uh, tours that I do and for the motorcycle places that I go to even if I want to go from one place to another. Believe me I get lost at the bottom of the stairs so I definitely need um, help with navigation. So okay. without further ado let's get into it. I've got, a, I've got a link that I use and this simply goes to my root app um, account, logs me in automatically, um, but if you don't have a my root app account, just go to myrootapp.com. When you go to myrootapp.com, you will be presented with this page. Uh, it's free to log in. I actually have a, a gold lifetime membership because I think it's so great. But you'll be presented with this page, and at this point you can do um, you can create a new you can do lots of things. But today we're just going to do creating a new route. Here I can say new route, or I can go to the list of my routes. But to show you, I'm going to I use my 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 link, which is the the route. You can do it how you want, and I'm going to create my new route from here, which is dead easy. The plus button new, and then route. So I'm going to click on new route and at this point it's going to open up a, a map. It's probably, oh, no, sorry, I'm a bit ahead of myself. I'm going to call this uh, test route, oh, I can't spell, test route for YouTube. Maybe I should just do that and it will come out a little bit better. I'm going to leave it as private because I don't want the world to see it yet because I'm going to be doing some modifying to the route and also I want a, a driving route not not for example a cycling or a, a walking route so I'm going to click OK it will go to the world and then it'll probably find me oh it hasn't done but oh there you go there it is it's that's Google Chrome for you it's got uh, location services on so I'm going to say uh, start my route uh, first thing I have to do is select a starting point well, I'm going to select my starting point uh, right outside Hartford East train station there and that's a hand and I'll come to the differences between hands and shape routes shape markers in a moment the next thing I'm going to do is choose uh, another place now I can either I can either click somewhere in the same way that you do on Google Maps I might say yeah I want to go via um, let's make it a bit smaller I'll make it a bit like that. So let's say I want to go go via uh, this road to the other side of Hatfield. It'll start to create the route for me. And then um, let's say I want to go down to Barnet, which is down here somewhere um, like that. And let's say actually now I want to make sure I go to uh, Hampstead. There we go, Hampstead. And that has started to create the route for me. Bit of a word of warning here is that sometimes in my route app, depending on the speed of your internet connection, certainly on my route app on the on on, on a on a PC or a Mac, this is a bit glitchy in loading. And if it is glitchy in loading, you can just change the map overlay from the default which is at the here map if you have the gold version or it'll be if you have the free version i think it's the uh, open street map version and you can change it again if you've got the gold version you can change it to um to that famous look which is which is which is google maps but for shaping the route we definitely need to make sure that we use the 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 here map one because that's the gpx type file we're going to export so from here let's say i want to come back via um i don't know somewhere near enfield and then from Enfield, I want to go somewhere else on the way back back to, to Hartford. Now, if you, I don't know whether you've noticed, but this is a hand and this is not a hand. It's like a upside down pear drop. Well, the, the, these upside down pear drops, they've probably got a, a name and I'm very sorry if I've got it wrong. Please correct me and put it in the in the comments below what it's supposed to be because I can't for life me think what it is. These are, these are, these, we use these to shape our route. And these are um, these are uh, waypoints. These are places that we that that we're definitely going to be going to. 
And if I add somewhere else in, let's assume now that I want to go via um, uh, this road on the way back, you'll see that this hand will change to a shape and this is the end of the route, so this will change to a hand. So there you go, look, that became a hand and that's the end of the route there. And then just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to finish my route um, in where. So there we go. Now, let's assume now that I want to I want to edit this route a bit and I want to make it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, maybe I want to go a little bit more cross country. So let's say I wanted to not actually go down the, the A1M, which I don't particularly like, and especially this big roundabout here. Uh, let's say I wanted to come down a, a diff one, down this road and go through Potter's Bar. Well, I can do one of a few things. I can either drag the route over to here and let it do it for me like that. Or I'm just going to undo that by using Command Z on my keyboard. Or you can do Control Z on a PC. Or you can click the button down there that says Undo. Um, I can add a shape point in there if I wanted to. And then I can take that shape point and I can move that shape point to wherever I want it to be. It's the same thing. It doesn't really matter. I like shape points. In fact, I'm going to be putting in some more shape points in a minute. I'm going to show you how to add more shape points in automatically. So there we are. There we have a route. Now, we want to also make sure that we have our, our shape points directly on the correct on the, on the line. Otherwise, when you export it to your device, it can start to do funny things like sending you down roads you didn't want to go down. So to do that, make sure you are on the the here map gold, <coughs> excuse me, here map, the here map route um, one. And then how I do it is I just click on, on the first one. And uh, as this is number one, this is my go point. I like to hit this and hit the little thing there that says go. It says, are you sure this is your go point? Yes, this is my go point. So I'm gonna go back to that. I like to change that to a different color, just me. It's green for go. So that's my go point. And I'm going to zoom in. And that's right on my black marker or my gray marker line. I'm going to go along to my next point. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. This point is not on the marker line. Now that's going to cause my, my Garmin Zumo XT to have a bit of a frothy. So I'm going to make sure I drag that and I put that on the line important to do and then I'm going to go along to my next point again that's not on the line so I'm going to make sure I drag across and pop that on my route line I haven't got many to do so oh this is an interesting one I'll just close that for a second if you look at this that would have sent us down this road and then back out again we don't really want to be doing that so we're going to move this over to there and make sure that is on the line and then I think we've got the, the last one. Uh, oh no, this isn't the last one. This is also down some weird road, I think. Let's have a look. Um, oh no, that was when I went down to Hampstead. I do apologize. Yeah, I wanted to do that one. So now I want to go along to my next one and I'm going to zoom in again, make sure that's on the line. Again, that's not on the line. The moment, I haven't got to close this because the moment I move this away, that will disappear um, and It'll pop it back onto the line. The guys at my route app absolutely have thought of everything. They're brilliant, in my opinion. Um, and then, uh, again, that's not on the line, so I'm going to come all over, over and pop that on my line. And I think this almost comes to the end of my route. Uh, and this is the end of my route right here. Um, but because that's the end of my route, just because I'm a bit finicky, I like to make that red so that it is red. So now I want to export the route. So. If I could do this one of a few ways, but how I like to do it is I like to go back to my routes. So I'm going to go back to my routes that I've saved. And there's my test route right there. And at the side of the route, I can click these three little dots and I can do, uh, these are my options, and I can do save as. So I'm going to say save as. I want it to be a GPX 101 because this is going to include uh, points of interest. It's a route and a track and this is important if you're importing it into a Zumo device for example. I'll come to the My Route App Nav app in another video later. So this is it. So I'm going to, just going to simply say save 
and that will then save that down into my 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 um, downloads folder and I have my GPX file saved. If you want to, you can just email that to somebody, pop the email address in there and say email root, which is also very, very easy to do. And then that saves that in there so I can come back to it for future videos, which I will do. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna shut up now. I hope you found this useful. I hope you got to the end of the video. I sincerely do. And um, please, like I said, make use of the chapter markers at the bottom. And I will see you in the next video, which will be about probably um, um, shaping, the, shaping the route and adding content to your route. So until next time, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye.